Hi guys, my name is Tina and I'm the owner and creator here at Riverbrook Soap Company and I want you to help us grow our YouTube channel. So please give us a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you want to know when I put out new videos. You'll be the first to know if you hit the subscribe button. Next, today we are going to be making a, another soap that goes into my Texas collection called Texas Country Soap and it smells very similar to a country Christmas soap that I made for this past Christmas. So if you wanna stick around and see how I make this Texas country soap, then let's get started. Let's go make something sudsy. Okay, so here we have our oils. So you just want to make sure that all the oils are mixed up and there's not any oils laying on top. Looks pretty good. Because I want it pretty fluid to um, be able to have a good pour. I'm going to go ahead and add the scent to there. I'm using some blue and this is um, indigo blue. Sorry, it's indigo girls blue from Mad Marcus. And then for the red, this is Trial by Fire by Nurture Soap. And I'm just going to put just a little bit of this in there. I don't want it to be fire engine red. I want it to be kind of a brick country red. Kind of like a barn red, I guess. So, I um, want a little bit both of that and see how that comes out. just a little bit more of the red red because I don't want to and I think that looks good okay so now for this I'm gonna add just a little bit of um, walnut hole I don't want to do too much because I don't want to um, and I know that looks like a very small amount but this stuff can really discolor.
and then I'll pot swirl. I don't want it. So here we go. This normally comes out really pretty um, when you pour it. And then we'll leave a little bit on top. Okay, so there you go. So now we're gonna pour it into our handy dandy mold. There's a design that I want to put on top, um, but I'm going to have to let this set up just a little bit. But. So I'll let this set up just a little bit and then we'll come back and we'll texture the top. So we're here <clears throat> with our Texas Country Soap and I have let it set for a couple of days. So we're gonna cut it now and it looks like it's going to be really nice. So pretty. You can see the little specks. They're very subtle, but that's what I wanted. And that is the black walnut. And I love that. That is so pretty.
And there you have it. There's the Texas Country Soap. And absolutely turned out exactly the way I wanted it to, which doesn't happen very often. So I'm really happy with that. Thanks, guys. If you like this video, please give us a thumb up. And if you want to know when I post more videos, please subscribe to our channel and help us grow. Thanks a lot. See you next time.